Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're gonna try to escape the monotony of the current meta game by trying out some pretty unique cards. Of course means it's not gonna be the most competitive deck out there, but hopefully it's still gonna be a lot of fun. And the cards we're trying to combine here are Catilda alongside Tyvar and Ride of Harmony. So Catilda, a 2-mana human with protection from werewolves, and lets her human creatures tap for 1 mana of any of that creature's colors. And then for 6 mana we can also tap Catilda to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature we control, so it can be an excellent mana sink once we start making tokens and going wide. And then Catilda plays very nicely alongside Tyvar, which has a passive ability saying we may activate abilities of creatures we control as though those creatures had haste. So if we have a Tyvar out and play Catilda, normally it would have summoning sickness and we have to wait until next turn to tap it for mana, but now with Tyvar we can immediately activate Catilda to make mana, and the same is true for other humans that just entered the battlefield. Then Tyvar can also untap up to one target creature with a plus one, so that can help protect Tyvar or maybe make an extra mana with Catilda out, and then a minus two can mill three cards and then return a creature card with mana value two or less from our graveyard to the battlefield, so that can also get back a Catilda if the opponent answered it, so curving Catilda into Tyvar can also be quite nice. And then the eventual goal is to draw a ton of cards with a Rite of Harmony, a two mana instant saying whenever a creature or enchantment enters the battlefield under our control this turn, we get to draw a card, and it also has a flashback for four mana. So let's say we have Catilda and Tyvar on the battlefield, play Right of Harmony, then now we play a creature, it will draw a card, and almost every creature in this deck is also human, so it will immediately be able to tap for mana with Catilda to essentially replace itself, since a lot of the creatures in this deck are pretty cheap, maybe cost one mana, like a Lunark Veteran or Officer, so if we play these, they essentially pay for themselves, so we can keep stringing together more and more creatures. We've got some token makers as well, with Join the Dance, which makes two one ones for two mana, so that can also essentially pay for itself. And then if we have a Torrents on the battlefield saying whenever we cast a creature spell, make a 1-1 one, one green and white human soldier creature token with training, that can also help pay for more expensive creatures, like maybe our Copper Code Vanguard giving our team plus one plus two and ward one. And then Intrepid Adversary, also an excellent mana sink if we have a lot of mana, since we can pay one and a white any number of times to give the team a plus one plus one for each one of those counters that end up on the adversary. So that's our game plan. Then Veteran's also very helpful in gaining additional life whenever we make a creature, so that can keep us alive long enough to set up those powerful turns. Can also replay it from the graveyard as a Luminous Phantom, so that's one of the few non-humans in the deck. And then a Recruitment Officer, 1 mana 2 1 with a 4 mana ability, letting us take a look at the top 4 cards of our library to reveal a creature with mana value 3 or less and put it in hand, so that can be another great mana sink. And then we mentioned most of our 2 drops already, Vanguard also nice at pumping the team after going wide, and Adversary is how we often end up winning the game. If we have a ton of mana with all our tokens, we can just sink all of it into pumping the team with Adversary, and that will usually carry us to victory. And then Join the Dance can also be flashed back for 5 mana, so that can also make even more tokens once we're going off with our Rite of Harmony. And we can of course cast multiple copies of Rite of Harmony in the same turn, which will result in even more card draw, so just have to be careful that we don't end up decking ourselves. And then Extraction Specialist, another nice 3 drop here that we can find with our Recruitment Officer, and it will return a creature with mana value 2 or less from our graveyard when it enters. Now that creature cannot attack or block as long as we control Specialist, but it doesn't really matter if we're getting back Catilda, since its ability to tap for mana will still be relevant and can still pump the team. And the same is true for a Copper Code Vanguard or Intrepid Adversary, which can also still pump the team after spending extra mana after getting it back with Specialist. Getting back Officer still lets us activate the ability, so Specialist Specialist is perfect here as well. Now the mana base is definitely where this deck suffers, literally, since we have to play 12 pain lands with Caves of Coilos, we've got a Lenor Waste and Brush Land, but that's a necessary evil since we only have the one fast land we get to play with. We do want to play three colors, and it's not like we can play a land with creature type synergy since we still need to cast some other non-creature spells like Join the Dance and Tyvar, so we can't rely on a courtyard, for instance. And then we've got a few more uh, Innistrad dual lands entering untapped later. And then we've got one basic line in case we need to search it up, Anti-Ganjo offering additional interaction. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got all the elements here to maybe set up a very explosive turn with Cotilda, Tyvar, right? 
and can even play turn one officer. If Catilda dies, Tyvar just gets it back. Do still need some other creatures or token makers to draw cards with Rite of Harmony. So that's what we'll be looking for. Facing Jetmir's Garden. And Sundown Pass. Not a Rite of Harmony. Okay, so what I could do is Rite of Harmony, minus two Tyvar, hope to mill a creature, but if we miss it's kind of awkward. So I think for now I'll just hit for three. Play Tyvar and then plus. And then uh, we'll see next turn if we can minus and draw some cards. Let's see what this Untapping Katilda in case her opponent has the Reckless Stormseeker, which is a hasty werewolf that Katilda can block for free with protection from werewolves. Borrow time instead. And goes for Tyvar. Luckily have a backup. Alright, so could also just activate Recruitment Officer now to try and find a creature in the first place. I think that's reasonable. Uh, although we could also play Tyvar, untap a creature, and then still activate the Officer's ability. Untap Katilda in case of a Wandering Emperor. Another borrow time? Alright. That goes for Tyvar yet again. So we never get to have our crazy turn with Tyvar in play, but Torrens is certainly nice to have with Rite of Harmony. And a Vanguard. So do we have enough mana for Rite, Torrents, and Vanguards? Only if we draw a land along the way. But since we have another Rite, it's worth a shot. And then... Can tap like so. The auto tapper is sometimes pretty annoying to deal with when you have a lot of pale lands in your mana base. Alright, no land sadly. So just a one card. But next turn we could have a pretty explosive turn with Rite of Harmony, Vanguard drawing two with Torrens, join the dance drawing two. So your opponent is an enchantment deck, as we see with Kami of Transients. And a visitor. Okay, Rite of Harmony number three. So, let's start with right. Could even consider casting double right. But without Tyvar to let our creatures tap for mana, I think it's better to just play Vanguard and join the dance. Could have also considered keeping a black man in case we top deck to third Tyvar. Okay. And then gonna pass it back. So we're developing our board nicely. Gotta back up Katilda in case they answer it. But it would have been nice to have an active Tyvar, so our creatures could have tapped for mana right away to keep going. But we'll still untap with a lot of mana. And Audacity pumps Kami of Transients. We are down to 8 here, so a large Trampler is certainly a threat. And another Audacity. So 12 power means I pretty much have to jump with everyone to survive. If I block with these four creatures, our opponent would still trample for 7. So I'm not dead, but I cannot tap my Pain Lands for mana anymore. Yeah, so it goes. Need to find our uh, one drop that gains life. So now what? Could flashback right once again and then play adversary. Or I can just play adversary and sink a bunch of mana into it and have a larger life linker. And then next turn we can maybe look into drawing more cards. So let's say we play adversary. Yeah, I can pay three times. 
your opponent has removal for adversary, we just die, because then uh, I only have the one blocker back, but I think it's worth a shot. Since we need to get on the board. And there's Kami again. Naturalist pumps Kami. And a companion to draw. So this Kami is getting very large yet again. At least no attack. Alright, so we're not dead yet, that's good. Now I could play a 2-mana Rite of Harmony, play a Join the Dance, and see where we're at. And I don't want to tap my adversary. Okay, an untapped white source that doesn't cost me any life is nice. So, can flashback join the dance. Draw two more. And then play officer, I suppose. And then I could play another officer, but then I don't have a lifelinker back. Could also consider attacking with adversary. And then that will gain me some life back at least, even though it shrinks down the team. And then I can still play Officer's second main to draw. Opponent takes it. Okay, so pretty good turn overall. Found our veteran a little late, but uh, next turn we could combo off again with Rite of Harmony and a lot of mana now. And Naturalist is fine. Main concern now is removal on adversary, and then a large enough Kami to trample over for the win. Ooh, and all will be one. So, pretty good combo with Kami of Transients, if they have any enchantments left here. And Reign of Truth. Alright, so we might just be dead now. Serpon gets two all will be one triggers. Just going upstairs. And then, how many enchantments with Reign of Truth has to be enough for lethal. Although we do have quite a bit of toughness back, admittedly. Another trigger from the Saga, so they didn't quite have enough to kill Adversary with the 3 damage. Opponent goes all out. So 20-20. If I put 5 creatures in front of it, I soak up all the damage. So that's Kami dealt with. Block Naturalists, block Companion, block Visitors. So we actually survive down to 2 life. Alright. I'll take it. Put on gets Kami back end of turn, but now they're just dead to an all-out attack. Sweet. So I could do some more nonsense here, like uh, playing Rite of Harmony, but I'll just play Vanguard and attack. Very close game. All the way down to one life. Sweet, onto the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Hand is keepable, but missing some of our more exciting payoff cards. For now, play Veteran. Turn to Vanguard, and then Adversary would be better turn 4, once it can pump the team. Opponent likely holding a cutdown, so I think I should just attack first. Maybe they'll cut down Veteran, and then I get to play Vanguard and have it survive. Because if I play Vanguard first, and they know to kill Vanguard instead of Veteran. Okay, this figure instead. And then next turn I could just disturb Lunark Veteran as another option. Another Adversary. Yeah, let's just hit for two. Shielder's Edict, that works. And 
then wait on Rite of Harmony until we have a bit more mana to work with. Ooh, Torrents could also be quite nice with Rite. But, uh... Not the most efficient turn for Torrents. So likely see more removal. Go for the throat. Oh, maybe Torrents is safe now. And Gars next, okay. And that was a perfect turn to play Torrens and Lunark Veteran. Immediately make a token. And hit for one. And now we're just a Gotilda away from having an awesome Rite of Harmony turn. Take the four from Edgar, could imply that a Sweeper's incoming. Elish Nord instead. Okay, well. I could play Adversary and just giving the team plus one plus one, but not sure if that's going to really help much in this situation. So I think it's time for Rite of Harmony, and then if we play Adversary we get a token from Torrens as well, so we at least draw two cards. So we'll take it from there. Ideally draw another one drop we can cast. Okay, in that case, probably just tapped Thicket, and then I'm not going to attack since I would lose two from Elishnorn. Still hoping for Katilda here, although next turn we can flashback Rite of Harmony, play Join the Dance, and draw two. Missionary unkicked, and Vanguard's next. Okay. So, flashback right, play Vanguard would also draw two cards here, and that keeps the cards flowing. And Torrents triggers on cast, so even if they have removal here, we'll still get our extra token to draw two. So this seems safe enough. There's Katilda, awesome. Would love another Rite of Harmony now, but Katilda's still gonna be a great mana sink. So we'll pass it back. We're building up a huge board, so our opponent better not have a board wipe. We can eventually transform Elish Norn as well, so that's certainly a concern. So we might have to consider making some attacks now. So I can play and flashback, join the dance. And attack with Phantom, can pay the one for Elishnorn. And then next turn maybe attack with everyone and pump with Katilda. Wedding announcement's fine. So opponent's getting very close to activating Elishnorn, at which point they can eventually wipe the board. So let's see here, could also dig with Recruitment Officer. Can still play it and activate Katilda. Opponent's got four blockers, so if we attack with everyone and pump, should be pretty close to lethal. So I think we just go for it here. I guess I could have played Brushland to pay for Elishnorn, which uh, will trigger after we deal damage, so if it's not actually lethal, then I'll end up dying to it. So let's just double check the math. So our opponent's essentially at 19 with a lifelink from Missionary. They could have one more removal spell, so let's assume 5 blockers, 19 life. Then we'll still have 4, 8 creatures with 3 power each going through. So that should be plenty. I guess I could kill one of my uh, lords here, which would remove quite a bit more power. So in that case, uh, let's say 8 creatures with 2 power each. Yeah, that's cutting it close. But if I pass, what happens? Your opponent can transform Elishnorn, incubate to five times. I guess that wouldn't be game over. Alright, I think we have to cancel attacks and just activate the Recruitment Officer a bunch. And then I can still activate Katilda. If 
and another Catilda. So should be able to activate once again. And now let's see, Extraction Specialists, get back Intrepid Adversary or Vanguard. It's gonna be the move. So I'll play that. And then we'll still have green mana from our tokens and from torrents to activate Catilla's ability. Alright, get back. I want to say Vanguard. Since otherwise I don't have a lot of mana to sink into the adversary, it's safer to just activate Catilda. So that if they remove adversary, our team doesn't shrink down immediately. Okay, and then I think we can activate one more time. Just double checking here. But I guess we can do that in the opponent's turn too, since we'll be tapped out. Okay. So our opponent can flip Elishnorn, that's fine. So that happens. But we should have that covered. So end of turn, wedding announcement triggers. I'll start by just activating Katilda, and then if we have spare mana, I can activate Officer as well. And looks like we didn't. Did find Tyvar, but it's not going to be needed. Attack with everyone, and that's game. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand seems acceptable. Not exciting. Missing Katilda and Rite of Harmony to truly combo off. But at least now I get to play Veteran on turn one. And then, got a few options turn two here. Maybe just join the dance and then next turn pump the team with Vanguard. And wait to play Adversary for four mana. Opponent blue-black. And a Trespasser can exile or join the dance. Also pretty effective against Tyvar getting stuff back from the graveyard. So it does now kind of blank our incoming attack. Still gonna go Veteran plus Vanguard. And then next turn with Adversary we'll still be able to attack at least. Switches to Nighttime. So if I play Adversary, pump the team. I guess we go up to three powers, still not quite enough to get past a Glutton successfully. But it's worth the shots, and then if they take out Adversary, I can maybe get it back later with Tyvar. So no attacks. Shieldred's next. And there's Katilda. Okay, just our Rite of Harmony missing now. So if I play Katilda... Then play Tyvar. I should already be able to activate Katilda if I had enough colored mana, which I guess we do if we tap a creature first. So tap this, play Tyvar. And then I can even untap a creature here for what it's worth. It's gonna switch back to daytime. And we can activate Katilda since we have six mana. And Katilda can activate right away thanks to Tyvar. Katilda also has protection from the Trespasser, which is a werewolf. And our opponent concedes. Yeah, they figured out how Tyvar interacts with Katilda. And we can just keep pumping our team turn after turn onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Just missing Tyvar to have a party here. And I'll forego turn one officer so we can play a turn two. Either join the dance or Catilda. Opponent's mono white. If I play join the dance next turn I can play Catilda and play something afterwards. Which is pretty nice. And doesn't expose Catilda to removal as early. And yeah, there we see ossification. Getting rid of a token. 
torrents. Okay, that one's also very nice if it gets going. So I might start there. And then Catilda with Rite of Harmony could generate a ton of extra cards. Our opponent does, of course, have another ossification, which is why they were willing to fire one off on a token. All right, so what's next? Probably Catilda into... Could go for Intrepid Adversary, keeping the cheaper officer to combine with Rite next turn. And then we can hopefully draw at least two. Opponent's also playing green. Restoration, so it is an enchantment deck, but maybe a more controlling variant. Ooh, nice Tyvar. So, play Right of Harmony. Can play Tyvar. And then untap a creature with it. But first I probably want to just play Officer to draw. And then now I can play Adversary to draw. Final land, and I could minus Tyvar. And hope to mill another creature. Okay, get back Katilda, and that'll draw as well. And then I still have two mana left, so we can keep going. Play Officer. Don't quite have the mana to play another right here. Alright, that's the end of the line. Still pretty sweet turn. And we can try and set it up again next turn with Join the Dance, drawing more cards with Rite of Harmony. Opponent gets back Naturalist. And a Hello Taunting. Alright, opponent's got their own token engine going here. So, crack our knuckles and prepare for hopefully an awesome turn. So, step one, a Rite of Harmony. I think we flash back a Rite of Harmony as well. Or do we maybe just flashback join the dance first? But if I'm gonna ride of harmony twice, I may as well do it as early as possible. Then I can join the dance, still get to untap a creature as well. I think it's worth it. Having torrents in play would have been even better, but so it goes. So flashback join the dance. Draw four cards. Can untap a green creature. And double veteran was perfect here to start out. Draw two. Draw two again. Unless I want to ride of harmony a third time, but that seems a little greedy since we may be limited in how much mana we have left. Okay, play Vanguard. An Extraction Specialist could also come in handy, since we have another Catilda in Graveyard. Play Vanguard. And our hand is certainly ready to keep going next turn. For now, discard to hand size, can ditch a couple lands we don't need. Okay. So both decks are definitely working according to plan. Another Naturalist, trigger Hallowed Haunting. And their team will be able to fly over our blockers, and a Reign of Truth on Naturalist can gain a ton of life. But I'm hoping next turn we'll be able to pump the team to a point where we can uh, at least for the point to chump a bunch. Double Reign of Truth trigger, 19 power. And another one. Alright, never mind, I guess we're just dead here. Well, that was impressive. GG's. The flying here making the difference, otherwise we could have jumped, survived, and then kept going next turn. But yeah, the one game where we actually managed to assemble the trifecta, our opponent goes over the top onto the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand is just missing black mana for Tyvar. Otherwise, our hand could be quite exciting with Katilda enjoying the dance and right drawing cards. And there we go. If Catilda dies, Tyvar gets it back. Now I could also just um, cast a Rite of Harmony and then join the dance, which will draw two. And then next turn I can still play Tyvar and potentially keep going. 
and that way also get to use Razor Verge thickets while it's untamped. So Ride of Harmony, join the Danes, and there's still the flashback side. Okay, is there a pawn on black-white? Field of Ruin. We only have the one basic to search up, so hopefully they don't activate it. And go for the throat kills Katilda. That's fine. And our opponent's gonna exile a token as well. Our opponent didn't actually have any planes in place, so they could only exile the token with it. So I could play Tyvar, get back Katilda, still play Intrepid Adversary. That's not bad. Could also just cast another Katilda from hand. I just want to have as much mana in play as possible to then have another nice Ride of Harmony turn. Maybe flashing back, join the dance. So I guess getting Tyvar in play is part of that. And we could mill some more flashback cards as well. And then I can play Adversary and actually, thanks to Tyvar, still pay the two mana to pump the team. So that's a pretty neat interaction. Tyvar untapping a creature represents another mana. Oh no, Path of Peril. That's painful. Luckily we have another Katilda ready to go. So let's say we play Katilda. Tap it, untap with Tyvar. Then if I were to flash back Ride of Harmony, that would not leave me with a lot of mana, so instead we'll just flash back Join the Dance. And then I could still play Adversary, although I might want to keep that to actually draw with right next turn. So let's just pass. Opponent now exiles Tyvar, they don't want us to combo off. Okay, in that case, maybe just Adversary pump the team a few times and smash. Could also activate Katilda, but let's get the Adversary involved. And then could pump three times or could pump twice and attack for a bunch. That's maybe better. And then next turn, if they remove my adversary, I can just pump the team with Katilda and attack for a bunch. So let's say we play Officer, attack with the one token, and then I might be better off just activating Officer. Yeah, actually, let's just pass and then I can activate Officer two times. We'll keep it daytime since we cast a creature. But I'll also have the flexibility of activating Katilda if that's better. Another Field of Ruin. Opponent's got a pretty interesting mana base edict to get rid of a non-token creature. So we have another Katilda, but Let's just activate Officer first, in case we find another Officer, then I'll just keep Katilda in play. Katilda also has protection from Brutal Cathar, so they couldn't exile it even if they wanted to. And that one misses, sadly. Alright, I'll keep the Officer, since we have another Katilda. And we could also look into a Ride of Harmony now. March gets rid of Officer, so they've got all creatures covered here. And now a 2-mana Rite of Harmony is maybe the way to go instead. Play Rite, play Katilda, I guess Veteran first, and then Katilda. Sure. Wanted to keep Black untapped in case we draw Tyvar, but I guess I'll also need green for it, so there's no way to make that happen. Might have been better to just play Katilda and then Veteran. Okay, just play Adversary. And draw another card, even though I don't get to pump the team with it. And that's it for now. I'll hang on to a backup Katilda. So we have a lot of mana. Flashback right is now an option too. Surin can start drawing cards or making vampires. But we should have enough in play to take out Surin. Unable to keep up cut down. So if I activate Katilda, send everyone at Sorin, that's taken care of. So let's just do that for now.
opponent might be setting up a sweeper here, but I think I still want to pump. The reason not to pump is that if they cast a sweeper, at least I would get back the adversary post sweeper. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Can get back on the board with right into Katilda and Veteran at least. But nope, opponent's out of answers and they scoop it up. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play and our hands got potential. Katilda to make mana and then join the dance plus a right of harmony to draw cards. And then specialists get back Katilda if they answer it. Opponent on a junt deck. Could still be a five color domain strategy as well. So hopefully they don't exile Katilda since we need it in the graveyard to return with specialist. Go for the throats, that's fine. Specialist get back Katilda. And then next turn, at the very least, I can write join the dance draw to, but with Katilda around, I can make more mana to cast more creatures. And a pilfer's gonna have a look. Can make me discard Right of Harmony, but we'll still be able to flash it back at the very least. So it goes for Veteran. And Specialist can return that as well. So we have options. Essentially have six mana. So right play specialists versus right play join the dance. And then I can still get back veteran. That's probably still better here. So join the dance and then at the very least I'll be able to disturb a veteran to draw. Not bad. And now Katilda can pump the team. Shieldred can punish future card draw. Adversary can also pump the team. Alrighty, so we have 9 mana total that we can work with. I don't think this is a right turn, although we could go right plus flashback join the dance, draw 2. I think this might be more of a pump the team turn. If I play adversary and it gets removed, that's a bit of a waste of a turn. Since we can only attack with Phantom still, can pump the team three times with Adversary, which isn't enough for our 1-1s to attack past Shieldred still. Might just want to activate Katilda here instead of playing Adversary, because if it gets removed, then we don't really make any progress. And uh, that's it for now. And then I'll activate Katilda. And pass it back. Opponent removes specialists. That's fine. Shieldred still playing defense. And now with Veteran, it could be a good time to go for another Right of Harmony to draw some more cards. So let's say we flashback Right of Harmony. Then I'll still have two, three, four, five mana left. So I can play Veteran. Nothing to get back with. Uh, Specialist, unfortunately, although they could maybe remove something in response. Could also just flashback join the dance once again. But uh, let's start with flashback right. Play veteran. Hope to draw Tyvar, of course. Another Katilda instead. And then could play adversary and pump the team once with it. And hit for three. And then if they kill adversary, specialist gets it back. Oof, Gix's command. Luckily, the sequencing works out in such a way that they can't kill all my creatures, since they only kill the larger creature afterwards. But that could have been a lot worse. Okay, so still have the line of Specialist to get back Adversary and sink a bunch of mana into it. And uh, let's see here, I want to tap a little bit differently. So I can activate, let's say, three times. Yeah, that looks good. And 
and make sure we tap manually since auto tamper is not gonna be trusted here. And then I could still play Officer, or I could attack with a token, which is maybe better. Hit for 10. Opponent falls to 9. So yeah, our deck's being pretty resilient. Lots of removal, discard, shield root draining us. But our board's still looking quite nice. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. So yeah, Specialist, definitely a nice card in these grindier mid-range games. And of course Tyvar can be as well, especially once we get to combo off with Catilda and the Rite of Harmony. So yeah, overall this deck is never going to be a very competitive choice for the ranked ladder, since it's going to struggle against any deck playing board wipes, especially ones that exile like Sunfall, which is quite popular right now. And an aggressive deck like Mono Red can also usually run us over before we get a foothold in the game, and the Pain Lands also don't really help in that matchup. So definitely not a competitive choice, but if you just want to combo off with a few creatures and Ride of Harmony, this can be a lot of fun. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.